The affordable housing crisis is set to take center stage in Albuquerque as there's a new idea from Mayor Tim Keller. He is asking city councilors to ease the housing shortage by going after short term rentals. Spencer Schott is breaking down this proposal for us and the debate surrounding it. So Spencer, what is the strategy here? Well, Tommy, the main point is to limit standalone short term rentals in Albuquerque with the goal of creating more permanent housing options. But the proposed ordinance has really sparked a debate online. This new ordinance would have three major changes to the city's short term rental code. First, it would cap the number of short term rental permits in the city at 1,200. It would also limit the number of rental properties one person can have to three. And finally, it would increase the penalties for those who break this ordinance. According to the market trend tracking website AirDNA, there are currently more than 2,000 short term rental properties in Albuquerque that are being advertised on Airbnb or Verbo. Of those, nearly 300 are private rooms that may not be affected by this ordinance. But there are still 1,800 full home rentals. That's 600 more than what the city wants to allow. And the ordinance states permits will be given out on a first come, first serve basis. Looking online, we found multiple Airbnb hosts in town that operate more than three properties, but they would not have to get rid of those extra properties right away. The ordinance states all of their permits would remain valid until the scheduled date of expiration. This ordinance has sparked some debate online, splitting folks between for and against. The people who don't support this idea argue the city has no right to set rental terms, adding my property, my choice. While many folks say they are for this change, some like organizers from the People's Housing Project say it doesn't go far enough. I felt a, a little bit of excitement that this was something we'd propose. One of our demands is that all short term rentals be banned. We don't think they should be any uh, rental properties that have occupancy of uh, 29 days or less uh, based on, you know, just a housing crisis and some of other uh, thoughts around housing. Now the city council is set to vote on this ordinance in tomorrow's meeting. And Spencer, while these limitations would be new for Albuquerque, other areas have already established them. Yeah, or at least similar ones. Last fall, the Santa Fe County Commission passed an ordinance that stopped any new applications or permits for new Airbnbs in an effort to increase their housing stock. They face similar complaints, especially from Airbnb owners. Why should we have to ask permission to do what we want to do with our property? It just doesn't make sense. Now, Santa Fe County passed that ordinance back in October, and Rimmer with the People's Housing Project says four months later, the housing supply in Santa Fe is still lower than it needs to be. So while he thinks this is a step in the right direction, he says local governments really need to prioritize building more affordable housing. It's an issue we are seeing across our state. Thank you, Spencer.